technically we do not have a chair at this point. Uh, however, as being the senior member, I'll bring the meeting to order. Are, yes. Uh, well, let me bring the meeting to order. And the first uh, piece of business is, oh, is there any additions or changes to the agenda as presented? I'd like to add discussing uh, the start time for our regularly scheduled meetings. Okay. Did you say start time, Evan? For our regularly scheduled meetings, yeah. Any other additions or changes? Uh, I've got some leave that I would like to take later this month that will have could have an impact on our April meeting. So I'd like to talk about scheduling a little. Okay. Any other additions or changes? Seeing none. Okay, Rosemary, would you do the pleasure of swearing in our newest member? Okay. Rosemary Hansen. Where's the stand? Yeah. The sovereigns were affirmed that you officially execute the office of select board member for the town of Johnson and will therein do equal right and justice to all persons to the best of your judgment and ability, according to law. We'll help you God or our firm undertake the penalty of perjury. Yeah. That's it. Congratulations. You're going to notarize me. Yes. On behalf of the select board, I congratulate you both on your wins and and uh, welcome you to the select board. Thank you. Uh, the first order of business, oh, and I would just highly encourage any trainings that the league provides that you take advantage of them. They're very beneficial. And, and Rosemary, if somebody can guide us and point us in the direction. You'll get emails. You'll start getting emails. But yes, Rosemary or Brian can help you. Usually. Yeah. Uh, they're having... They've changed it up a little bit this year. It's happening at the end of March. And I think they changed the name too, but I'll send you both emails about it. Okay, typically uh, we do the chair separate and then do the slate. So at this point, I would open nominations for the chair. I nominate Beth Floyd for chair of the select board. Okay, we have nomination for Beth Floyd. Are there any other nominations? I would nominate Eric Graff. I withdraw my name. You're withdrawing your name. Yep. Are there any other nominations? No. Seeing none. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Those aye. opposed? Congratulations, aye. Rosemary. Can I make a brief statement? Yep. Go ahead. Chair. So, please. Madam Chair, is that okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, so I, I just want to acknowledge Eric, I believe if I did my math right, is it is 26. This will begin the your 26th year as a select board member? Uh, since 96, so whatever that is. So it's, it's 25 or 26. Um, and you know, roughly 22 or 23 of that has been as the board chair. So I just feel it's really appropriate to recognize Eric's long and dedicated service uh, on behalf of the town of Johnson, both as a select board member and as its chair. And, uh, you know, having worked with Eric for, for years, and, you know, he's a stand up guy and a model um, for all of us. And so if, if, if we if we want to do some sort of resolution or something, I, I just I think it's really appropriate to recognize Eric's long service. Thank you. I'm not going away yet. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I don't think it's, 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 it's a big change to go from you know from chair just to a regular board member. And given the fact that you declined the nomination, you know, assumes that you're comfortable with that transition. <laughs> so. yeah. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. Right. Thank you, Eric. And I echo everything Duncan said. I appreciate all that. And look forward to Did you bring your camera? Oh, I thought you were using your camera. Or use somebody's camera. I want to take an official picture of the transfer. Oh, jeez. You got a hand off. No, I needed a photo off. Oh, to fix my hair. 
<laughs> Wait, I gotta fix my hair. This is all the best stuff. Yeah, it's been 23 it's years since there's been a different person. Yeah, yeah. She, she, she doesn't get the wooden. Uh, the wooden do we? You don't want to be? No, no, I never have one of them. Yeah, you should be in it. I'm a board to be. Let me take two. Let me take one with everybody and one with just the Not that expensive, okay? We should take our mask off of this. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's not policy, Eric. I know. That's funny why you're not on the meeting. All right, now let me get one with the whole crew. What do you want? Uh, let me see how big the You want us closer together? Hang on. I need some glasses so I can pull them down and kind of look. Nice. Am I looking at you or them? Look at Brian, please. Okay. <laughs> Look at the camera, Evan. Didn't you learn that in school? <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse the film, and I will not come near Philly for sure. Congratulations, Beth. Thank you. Well, I think. <laughs> you don't want You're going to be my press, right? You have to switch yeah. chairs. No. You want to switch chairs? No, I'm so. I'm way less formal than you all are. I think. I know. I want to stay. I'll down start there. the next meeting. You'll be, you'll be in the second. Okay, fine. Okay, deal. Okay, so next order of business is um, electing a vice chair. Do we have any nomination for vice chair? I would make a motion that we approve the slate as we go through it. Oh, uh, just down the list, you mean? Yeah, we make one motion for the whole slate. Okay. If everybody's in agreement, we may have to come back to do yeah, at if, the end. Right. If there's individual. Excellent. Okay, that sounds good to me. Um, moderator is voted in, so we skip moderator. Right. So yep. There are a few of these that are. I'm going to need your help with that part for sure. So um, I would no. submit Evan's name as vice chair. Yeah. You don't have to entertain a motion here. You can make the motion. I made the motion for the whole slate. Actually, you need a second for that motion. For okay. Second. Can I? Okay, we have a second. And well, I would, yeah, Eric, when you say slate, you bring to this? Yeah. But well, Matt Kenny's listed as yeah. the vice chair. Well, we would go down through the whole slate and add the names of the new people. And then do one vote. And then it'd be one vote. Okay. That's the way we've done it in the past. It, a little easier than a vote for each individual office. So when we go through this, we go through it as part of the motion that's on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, so, well, it's interesting because it doesn't call out. Um, okay. So, so we're just yeah, starting on chair. Evan. Well, we voted separately on Beth, right. so that's I, done. I think we're just going to appoint us, not officers. Uh, 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 I got to appoint us. What yeah. okay. voice gave you? Well, I'll show you the same thing. And then, same you, thing and then Brian, Jason, Susan, all these others are. Yeah, do we have to appoint. Do we have consensus on Evan, though? I'm, I'm totally confused. Okay. So, what we're doing is how we're doing it. So, page, well, the second page of what we're looking at is the appointment page. Yeah. We're going to go down through and talk about who we'd like to uh, seat in each of these, each of these seats for appointments. So if it's non-controversial, you know, if there's two, Madam Chair, me, if, if there's two uh, nominations for the same office, then that would be controversial and that would not be included in this slate. And we would have to come back and vote on the individuals. And we have a motion to substitute. Well, don't we have to do this? Don't we have to go through the slate first and then approve the slate with the changes? That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Okay. That's what we're doing right yeah. Now. So okay. right now we're going right. through. So the second position. So chair is outside of this yes. motion. Already voted. The very first item that we need to talk, discuss, and to agree on the name for is the vice chair. Yep. So Eric suggested Evan as vice chair. Is there consensus on Evan? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, road commissioner right now, Jason Whitehill is road commissioner. No, oh, sorry, Brian Story is road commissioner. I would uh, submit Brian Story. Brian, is that are you comfortable with that? Yeah, I'm willing to serve in that okay. capacity. Okay. Um, public works supervisor is 
Uh, Jason Whitehill. I would submit that. Jason. Okay. Assistant clerk is Susan Tinker. Uh, we don't know that Rosemary one. Appointed. That's appointed. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yep. Okay. First constable right now is Tracy Myers. Brian, have we talked to Tracy? Yes. And she is still. She interested. is willing to continue to serve. Okay. I would submit Tracy Myers. Any objections? Yeah. Okay. Animal control. We have BJ Putman right now. Have you talked to BJ? Yep. Okay. I would submit BJ Putman. So a question with regard to first constable. Uh, at one point in time, the animal control ordinance listed the first constable as the animal control officer. Is that still the case? Could, could she do animal control? She can do animal control. The, the, we are seeking additional constable training for BJ and D uh, to appoint them as constable. Right. Yeah, I'm sure everybody knows it, but our our constables are not allowed to do law enforcement. Correct. Okay. You good, Duncan? So we're both, we're both BJ and D on board for being animal control officers? Yes, they are. Okay, and are we interested in appointing both BJ and Dean Lock? Yes. Okay. Fence viewers, uh, we have Blaine Delisle, Margo Warden, and Kathy Black listed. Have you talked to all three of them? I thought these are Moldy and Kyle Nose are supposed to be out of last year, and I think Mike and Matt should be out of this year. It's a basically an honorary yeah, position, it's, it's old board and members. it's old select board members. Everybody comfortable with so who are you suggesting? So you're suggesting to keep Doug and Kyle and add Nat and Mike? Add all four. So no. add them in addition to these three, add four more. Yeah, four more being who? So yeah, so Brian, are you saying that they still so if we're just gonna continuously add names, we're gonna have a forever yeah. Never ending list. Um, I haven't spoken to them about remaining as fence viewers. Uh, we typically have only had three. It used to be an elected position years ago, and there was three yeah. positions. So. so I hear Evan saying Doug and Kyle were already supposed to be listed, and Nat and Mike is the proposal. I would be fine with moving it to 70. Else I would suggest we limit it to three. Well, who would you like on it? Probably the last three to serve. Well, there was the four, four so. Last four? Well, who okay. do you want to leave out of two years ago? Doug or Kyle? No, name your favorite baby. I already named my preference. You asked for three. I'm giving you the option to choose who you're cutting. Uh, who served longest? You uh, served I served with them. <laughs> Doug served longest. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So I would suggest Doug. All right. Okay, so we have Doug Moldy, Nat Kinney, and Mike Dunham. Instead of Blaine, Margo, and Kathy? In replace of the other three, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, official wear, Michael Patch. Want to give that to anybody else? Michael Patch. No, Mike Dunham, the fence viewers. The fence viewers. Somebody's probably going to update this and give us a copy right now. Um, official layer, Michael Patch is named currently. Any objection? Okay, no. Tree Warden, Noel Dodge. Keep it. Keep it. Yeah. Noel's interested in staying on. Perfect. Thank you. Uh, Health Officer Tracy Myers. Yep. And she's interested in staying on. She is. Okay. Any objections to Tracy? No. Nope. Uh, Deputy Health Officer Brian Story. Uh, myself, BJ, and Dean yep. uh, probably should stay on. Uh, I'd like to give that up at some point in the future, but uh, 
I just had to do a health inspection not too long ago. So I think it's still useful for me to have that. Okay. Okay. Any objections? Nope. Okay. Vermont man emergency management. I would propose we remove chair of the select board and I would propose we have Eric serve in that critically important <laughs> role. I agree. Can we do two? No, I guess we can't. No, it'd be one. But the, we, we can't do two, but there is a role uh, for coordinators. Yeah. So the, there is a role for another person. Um, it's not a named in our our appointments. And, but it, yeah. Okay. The, we have to name the EMD. The EMD can designate who the coordinators are and how many coordinators, depending on the situation. Gord, is, is Gordy still? No, no, he got done that when he got done the trustees yeah. um, in the last uh, you know phase of the pandemic. Um, I continued naming uh, the chair of the trustees just for that continuity with those departments. Um, I would just, I don't know if we have the luxury of this, but can we change the appointment of Vermont Emergency Management Director rather than just management? It, it could be. Uh, I think the actual technical. It's an EMD. It's, uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, a director should be added to that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, excellent. Energy coordinator is vacant. We had appointed Howard. Howard uh, never did anything. <laughs> what, well, is, there, what is the energy coordinator? That's coordinator. The, <laughs> that was the hundred thousand dollar question. He never, he never did anything. So it, it's not especially clear what the role for that is right now. The state is making a big energy push. Uh, so that might become more relevant in the near future. Does it does it relate in any way, shape, or manner, Brian, to the energy portion of the municipal plan that was adopted a couple of years ago? Is there any role for the energy coordinator in that process? I would ex. I can't quote chapter and verse of the energy plan off the top of my head, but I would expect that an energy coordinator would be involved in anything related to that plan, at least in a informational level. Um, to the extent that they'd be involved, I, I don't know. Well, I think it's a subject that's near and dear to Mark's heart. I would nominate Mark. What? Ooh. Don't know why you're getting into this. Because I know other towns have energy committees. Yeah. Yes. That probably somehow relate to the energy coordinator. Okay. In fact, I think that could certainly be something that the energy coordinator could kind of take on and, yeah. and work on. I, mean, I think the establishment of a committee would come back to, to the select right. board. But, yeah. I would expect so. I think that there's a lot of room for. Uh, being entrepreneurial about what the energy coordinator does. One of the first things uh -oh. you may regret that. <laughs> <laughs> does, that, does that basically mean you can make stuff up? <laughs> so I think we should keep moving, but Mark, thank you. I'm, I'm too late. He's already. Yeah, you're I'm in. Excited. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm energized about this. Excellent. I think as you should be. Uh, town service officer Evan. I would move to Duncan. Uh, uh, oh, oh, respectfully oh. declined. <laughs> that is one we have to fill. It's a resume. Booster. And traditionally, it's always been the junior member. There's two of us. But you have the junior. Are, 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 are you older than me or younger than me? But I think I got more folks. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so junior is, is um, defined by the smallest term. Is that the way you 
Think about it. Uh, uh, I got it. Uh, <laughs> that's the way it was interpreted. Don't worry, it's a very active job. Uh, yeah. Is that a solid no, Duncan? Or are you? Yeah. Okay. He's, he's, I'm, I'm seconding it. If, uh, if that, uh, you know, I remember that yes, that has been um, the penalty for getting, <laughs> <laughs> getting elected. So. Well, congratulations. Yeah. And I can see that Evan <laughs> wants to get rid of it. <laughs> no, I just want to keep moving. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm well, you, Evan. Inspector of Lumber and Wooden Shingles. Dixie Mays. Okay. I'm just going to keep moving unless we hear otherwise. Green up day, Chairman. Have we heard from Shane that he's still interested? I haven't spoken to him too recently about it, but uh, I believe that he still is. Okay. Isn't that something we have to do later? Uh, we we do when we file for it in another couple months. Okay. Uh, we'll have to actually have so, a coordinator at that point. Okay. Yeah, we have to formally do it. Okay, so we should confirm. I'll confirm with Shane and make sure that he still wants to do it. Okay. Okay, next up is the planning commission. Um, this, I feel we have like. Three of them. Um, okay, so right now, Kim, Rob, and Paul Warden are all in expired terms. I haven't heard back from Kim yet, but I expect that she wants to stay on both Rob and Paul. Uh, I've heard from and they do. They, they do, do want to? They do want to. They want to continue. So should we motion to actually appoint them and change their terms to 2025, 2022, 2022, or 2024, respectively? I would suggest so. I, 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 I Well, we already well, we have an active motion, so let's circle back to that. Fair enough. All right. Okay. And then Kim, uh, we'll need to, for uh, now, would, shall we keep her name? I, I would recommend that we do. Uh, I seem to recall her not being interested in staying on, but maybe I'm confusing that with something else. Okay. Um, next up is, we'll circle back to the um, terms. Next up is Recreation Committee, Jen Uris, um, Katie Orst, Alan Audette, Tim Goodall, and Kyle Senesek. Have you confirmed those members, Brian? Uh, they do all want to serve, continue to serve. Um, skate Park, Casey Romero, Howard, Howard Romero, Greg, uh, Batagate, George Swanson, Rick Opperly, and uh, James Whitehill. All would like to continue? I believe so. Do we need to confirm? I, I will confirm with it. We can reappoint them for now, but I'll, I'll <laughs> confirm. Yeah, okay. Uh, Conservation Commission, Lois Fry, Dean Locke, Sue Lovering, Noel Dodge, Peter Hammond, Denise Ashman, Jack Stanton, Jared, Jasinski and Carrie Watson. Yes, I, I have confirmed that. <laughs> Treeboard, Sue Lovering, Rob Maynard, Noel Dodge, Dorcas Jones, Lauren Quang Singleton, uh, Jacob Van Dorn, and Brian Van Dorn. Yes. Uh, didn't Dorcas just announce that she's the one? She's retiring. I thought I saw a Facebook post or something saying that. I'll double check with them, but I don't recall seeing anything from Dorcas. It was a column in the paper. Yeah, that's what it is. We haven't gotten anything official. No, I don't believe so, but I'll, I'll double check that. Okay. Um, Fire Warden Corey Davis. Do we know that Corey wants to continue? Yes. Okay. Town historian Linda Jones. Does Linda want to continue? Uh, I haven't heard from Linda lately. Uh, Doug, can you be spoken to Linda? About whether or not she wants to continue as town historian? Yes. I haven't heard anything to the contrary, so I think it would be appropriate to appoint yeah. her. If she doesn't know, she'll let us know. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
Historical Society, Linda Jones, Lois Fry, Tom Carney, Alice Whiting, Duncan Hastings, Dick Simes, um, which I think, yeah, Dick is listed as Richard and Dick in two different spots. Maybe we can correct that going forward. Uh, Kelly Van Dorn and Mary Jane Smith. I'm a vacancy. Uh, they do have a vacancy. There is a vacancy, and um, I would have a question. Um, my uh, appointment to that board has been the select board representative to the historical society. And I guess my question to you guys would be I'm willing to continue to serve in that role. But is that, would that be well, acceptable I'm, to you guys? I'm already serving in that realm. So we'd have two representatives. Mm, you're serving specifically on the, as the liaison to the upstairs building committee. Uh, that wasn't the conversation in April of last year, but. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> but, okay. It wasn't the select board conversation, I agree. And, but I, I don't know what makes the most sense. There is an open seat. There's, so there is an If you want to do it. So Evan's name really ought to be on here then. Um, so in that case, maybe there isn't an open seat. Shall we add your name? Evan? Like it. Sounds good. Is that a nomination? Yep. Okay. Good. Um development review board. Uh Sorry, I never know how to pronounce his name. Is it Angier? Angier. Um, okay, Will Angier, Jim McDowell, David Butler, William Jennison, David Williams, alternates of Shane Spence and Kim Dunkley. Good. And do we know that is correct? I can circle back with them and make sure, but I believe so. Have they ever met? Uh, not in a long time. And that's a required by statute committee. I wonder if there's any. Okay. Isn't it required because we have a. It's, it's required because of our zone. But they've never met in official capacity. They have. Well, oh, they have? Yes. Oh, okay. They just haven't had to. They don't have to meet regularly and they haven't had any business before them. But they have had business before. Uh, they had an organizational meetings. But they never met as a board to rule on a. No. Okay. Okay, beautification, Kyle News. Anne Marie Barr, Will, uh, Blair Wolf Watson, Carrie Watson, and Jonah Keith. Yes. Okay. Tuesday Night Live Committee, Howard Romero, Tim Mik Mikovitz, Abby Gladstone Strobel, um, Sophia Berard, Mara Siegel, and Tom Luke. Mara just sent out an email saying she was um, not to be on anymore. I heard that also, so we should confirm. Yeah. We'll, we'll have to confirm with them. They have they have their own organizational meeting uh, or just had, but I haven't heard from them about it yet. Okay. Um, community Oven Committee, Jasmine Uris, Ray uh, Kiana, Luke Gallaty, Gallaty, Sophia Berard, Charlotte uh, Rusen Kranz, Leah Murphy, Mark Woodward, and Jennifer Burton. And is it a conflict of interest for me to stay on that? I think as long as you don't vote on our funding for that specific line, it would be fine. Yeah. Do we fund it? No. No. We just have, well, we well, do approve no. orders. So we do review the bills that come in that we pay out for, even though it's self funded. So I think in the context of those orders that we review, you would want to just abstain. Okay. Uh, are we good on that committee? Yep. Racial Justice Committee, Sophia Berard, Chick Bit, uh, Jeff Bickford, Raven, I don't know how she pronounces her name, um, Faf maybe, Afi Wortham, Adele McDowell, and Shane Spence. Now Adele was only going to be half a year, I think, if I remember correctly. It was a limited time. Uh, so it's, we should circle back with them and find out what's going on with Adele. Okay. 
Um, official pound is Lamoille Kennels. Yep, continuing. Um, and then service numbers. I assume none of the numbers have changed no. and select board meetings. So that's all the appointments looks like. Uh, although Newport Ambulance Service, uh, NEMS has changed. They're no longer Newport Ambulance Service. They're now. Forget what it is now, like but North Country or something. Yeah, they, they've changed their their acronym is the same, but they changed the words. Okay. Is it more than emergency services? Probably, but I, I hesitate to try and recall it off the top of my head. It, it's uh, as long as we're trying to fix it with something correct, it's not guess. And uh, so, Brian, you'll take an action to follow up with the auditors so they're aware? Yes. OK, so we have a motion on the floor. So is this an appropriate place for Evan's question about the start times for the regular meetings? We'll have that as a second. We'll not talk about that yet. We'll have it as a second. I'll second. Okay. okay. We have a motion in a second. Any further discussion on appointments we've discussed? So for all the groups where you guys said you were going to look into whether all people on so on and so on, for now you're going to point. We're going to yeah. point those names. Okay. Yes. And just checking on. Okay. Under further discussion, because is this the one we would loop back to it about the terms for the planning commission? We could. So for keeping Kim, Kim Contnor on there, my suggestion is the term would expire 2025 instead of 2022. Mm -hmm. That would be a three year. Same with Rob Rodriguez, it'd be 2024, and Paul Ward, 2024. Is that a friendly amendment? But their term would stay the same. Yeah, it's okay. just changing the expiration. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. It's renewing their term. They're renewing it, basically, with the same duration. Is that a friendly amendment, Eric? Yep. Okay. Any further discussion? Okay. All those in favor with the appointments we discussed, signify signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? No. Before we move much further, I would just like to make a motion that we post in our. Well, maybe it doesn't need to be a motion, but maybe just a discussion. Brian, uh, we have a vacant planning commission seat, and I'm not sure. If, I think we're pretty much everything else, the slate is full, right? Uh, so. Historical Society might have a... No, Historical Society doesn't know that we appointed. No, Evan. We, we kind of well, switched Evan and I'm assuming we're switching Duncan to the <laughs> regular open seat and making okay. Evan the select board appointment. But we definitely should post for the vacant planning commission. Planning commission. Yes. And I, you know, I, I would strongly encourage and recommend that Dick Seamays be notified because I, in all honesty, I, I did not know, and I don't think any of the board members knew that Evan was serving in the role of the select board representative. I think we just thought that he was serving in the role of the upstairs committee, you know, the upstairs mm -hmm. committee. So I think, I think it would be really good to let Dick know. Okay, so we just had a vote. We just had a motion. We had the votes. The eyes had the had it. So appointments are made. In addition, Brian, it sounds like there's consensus that we'd like to get notification to Dick about um, the vacancy. Basically, clarifying maybe a conversation with Dick around clarifying what the um, understanding of the select board was versus understanding of historical society and. Um, the appointment we made of Evan to fill that vacancy that they had. Um, the terms are covered. Donna, are you good? Okay, excellent. Um, I'll look around a lot. Um, Next item on the agenda is start times of our meetings. So Evan, you had a proposal. Uh, my proposal was to discuss it. Mm -hmm. um, we're dealing with a lot of items and the meetings tend to go longer than expected. 
So it might be in the best interest of the public if we were to push up another 15. You know, we're starting at 645 now with orders and starting the regular meeting at seven. Maybe we could push that up another 15 minutes, maybe a half an hour. What are people's thoughts? So start at 630? Or 615. So what we've been doing um, is we've been starting our official meeting start time has been seven o'clock, but we've we've started the meeting earlier, 15 minutes early to go preview orders um, and sign up on them. And then having the regular, the first traditional agenda item being the start time of seven. So I think your proposal is either having that the orders begin at 615 or at 630 where the rest of the meeting would begin at 6.30 or 6.45, whichever. And basically, no action is taken during those that half an hour. You review orders, you don't change them. You just look yeah, for those 15 minutes, we essentially go through the bills that are coming in that we're going to sign off on, ask questions about invoicing, you know, what is this for? Why did we spend the money? Do we need to? Is it budgeted? Those kinds of questions. Um, and then we sign orders and then we move in. The more interesting stuff. But officially, we are in session and it's been a little more. So we can take action. Oh, okay. So we yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. that's a yeah. right. Okay. That's I, right. I would question why not just to keep it simple for the public to start at six o'clock. So my only then hesitation. We all have to be here at six, though, right? What's that? Mm -hmm. Then we all have to be here at six. Right. We would have to be here at six. My yeah. only hesitation with that is that. I'll be working in Montpelier, I think, late spring, or early summer, we'll be going back to the office. Six could be cutting it close some nights for me. I, I mean, 6.15 or 6.30, I think either would be great for me if everyone else is open to it. Maybe this is a rosemary question or my question, I'm not sure. Do, does the board get a copy of an edit on voice list? Prior to the board meeting, I would suggest that that, I mean, you know, I, I understand the, the, the good reasons behind looking at the orders, but if we were to get an, an, an invoice edit list and we got that on Friday or whenever Brian sends out his report. That would give each board member an opportunity to review each and every bill that's on the invoice edit list, and you could flag something. And I, I just, you know, I, I find it hard to get my arms around spending forty-five minutes looking at bills. We're spending fifteen minutes looking at bills. It's just fifteen minutes, and we don't look at every bill. The idea ultimately was that we wanted to tighten up invoice review, essentially and question things together. The only thing that, this is my opinion, so obviously everyone should share your opinions, but the only thing that I worry about is if I have a question on an invoice and you have a question on an invoice and Eric has a question on an invoice, then we're asking Rosemary and Brian when we could just be collectively asking um, and having that understanding as a group. No, I'm saying having the invoice in at list first. Mm -hmm. If you see something, flag it, and bring it to the it. meeting. Not not bother them, you know, with you know in advance of the meeting, but flag it so that when you go to the meeting, you know, you can say, "What about this? You know, what about this?" And I can only see that as being a time savings, not a time waste. So. Is that feasible, Rosemary? Probably won't be able to do that. But could we, I mean, yeah. could we have a cutoff list of Wednesday being the last day for, you know, bill getting, um, getting paid? And then, you know, the invoice edit list gets prepared and submitted? Let's do this. Let's not change. Let's, let's do this. This is a new board. Let's do the 15 minute of review for a meeting or two, and we'll add it back on the agenda as something that maybe we want to change going forward. But let's stay status quo for the moment, get through a few, and then we can do the feedback once we've all experienced what it is. 
I like that feature. I've never been on a board that looked at invoices before. That's the state. <laughs> Ryan, do that. We're just being more cautious. I guess so. It's good to have discussion and, and talk about a questionable item together, in my experience. But so let's let's do that. Let's try for the first 15 minutes. We'll re reassess after a few meetings. So the meeting time will be 6.30 then? 6.30 sounds good to everybody? Or 6.30 or 6.45. 6.45 is what you're doing right now, right? Correct. Yep. I say stay there. I mean, only because I work all over the state. 6.30 uh, would be more concise, at least for, because it would hit on the half hour instead of the okay. quarter. Sounds good to me. 6.30 is fine. That work for you, Brian? That works for me. Rosemary? Is that okay? Taking action on it. It's mostly questions. What, Mark, what might be different is it's actually the select board here that signs the invoices. So I review them. So does Rosemary and, and Jason and Lisa. All four of us are purchasing agents for the town. But to have another set of eyes and somebody else sign off on it. So we can order a purchase, but it has to be approved by the select board. <clears throat> um, it would be great, Brian, if we could maybe send the, the policy out. Yeah, for, I'll, I'll send out that reminder. The uh, orders have to be signed by the select so board. We're almost for, 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 for 6.30. 6.30. I don't have a vote on it yet. Value, right? Wow. Okay, so we're going to land on 630. Okay, well, I'm new. Okay, I don't think you can So I think we need to make sure we don't have multiple conversations happening. So we need to make sure we don't have multiple conversations happening, um, particularly for anyone viewing. Cavill, <laughs> do it, Eric. You may need um, to be used to it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, start at six thirty. That's where we landed. You need a motion on that, or are we just? I don't think we need a motion on that because okay. we're just going to warn it anyway. Yeah. Um. Okay. Next item, I believe April. Why did I write that? So, uh, I'm taking oh, some Street. time in March. So uh, I'm going to, I'd like to be out of office uh, roughly 25th through the 1st. Of March. Uh, 25th of March through the 1st of April. <laughs> That means I'm getting back uh, after I would normally have started the prep time for our April meeting on April 4th. My recommendation or my request for that would be if we could have that April 4th meeting be our uh, planning and prioritization meeting. If there's some prep work I need to do for that, but I can do the prep work I need before I leave. And I don't anticipate much would change a lot about that until the meeting. So that one's easy for me to manage when I'm not in the office. Sure. Uh, we had done that one last year in March, and we had talked about continuing to do that as a March thing with a new select board. But you know, for this next one, I'd like to do it in April. And so you're kind of flipping the work session to the regular meeting? Uh, no, this will still be a, uh, well, this will be a planning and prioritization. So it's, you think of it as a, a work session topic where we're going to spend our time kind of on discussion and planning. You know, we'll review open projects, talk about priorities for projects we want to start, uh, reflect on kind of where we're going for the next year. Does that give you enough time, Brian, to... If you're getting back on the first, does that give you enough time to organize for that? Meeting? Well, 
a lot of the organization for that meeting I can do before I leave. So I think that we'll be in a good spot for that meeting. The, the, I, don't, I don't expect a lot to change about that long-term planning between when I'm still here on the 22nd and the 20, 22nd, 23rd and 24th when I'm kind of getting ready to leave. Okay, so I mean, my feeling is we need to trust that if that's what you're, if you feel like you have adequate prep time, that sounds appropriate. Yep. That you, you think you have that time. Um, does anyone have concerns or concerns about having our planning meeting on the 4th of April? Not at all. Is, is the village in, are they having an annual meeting or is it Australia? Right so they're not in the That's the village. That would conflict with our meeting on the floor. Well, it would just conflict with the space if we if there's any problems, I guess not. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Yes, I agree. So okay. for for our scheduling purposes, is our next meeting this our, coming Monday? Yeah, the seventh. Yes. And then the twenty first, seven twenty first, and then following the fourth. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Any other business of the board? No. Okay. Um, I do I would want to just say one last thing. I want to again thank you for everything, and I look forward to supporting your support of me throughout this year. You got uh, it. <laughs> also, um, one of the things I will probably ask at the end of each meeting, just for whatever what it's worth, is if folks have agenda items that you would like us to consider in upcoming meetings to um, feel free to bring them to the end of our meeting. Doesn't mean we'll be able to fit everything in, but it does mean we should definitely be transparent about what we're thinking um, for our coming meetings. So, for what it's worth. So, are you soliciting? Um, do you already have content? Huh? Do you already <laughs> have content? I, I have one, and it really has kind of to do with, with this whether or not there's been any change of policy or will be change of policy on masks. Mass wearing both in the building and very meetings. Let's add that as an agenda item for our next meeting. Yeah. I actually was thinking of that's what I that's what I thought yep. you were asking for was yeah yeah was agenda yeah. items for next year. I was okay. I would just ask that the protocol if I'm running late or I can't make a meeting or I'm out of town vacation. Um, we can talk to you. That, yes, okay. it's, it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see him gallivanting all over the world. I've missed the meetings. He missed, Actually, I've been pretty... he missed a couple here and there, but not really. <laughs> We're all pretty attentive. Yeah. Because um, what I'll do is just lay out first and third Monday in my brain. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yes, I understand. We all have the same brain, I think. For purposes of for three long years. <laughs> so that, in, in addition to your suggestion of soliciting input for the next meeting, which I think is a great idea, is it also okay to, between meetings or before the agenda is set for the next meeting, to email you or phone, or phone you and say, geez, I've got an idea for an agenda, or can we, you know, will you consider putting that on the agenda? Uh, yeah, of, of course. Okay. I would consider anything. I would just recommend actually that you email Brian and I both at the yeah. minimum and um, that way we're both aware and yeah, yeah, we'll work on getting again, it may not may not always be the, the date we want, but yeah. we'll put it on the list. Yeah. So, we got so basically you and Brian make the agenda. Yes. Okay. Formally yeah. Formal. <laughs> You just yeah. signed yourself up for a lot of pain. But <laughs> Eric would just say it's the chairs. Yeah. Okay. I think that we can call it. So okay. we don't do that. Yeah, we're just going to adjourn. No, nope. we adjourn this meeting. Chair, chair calls it. Right? Yeah, meeting adjourned. <laughs>